Today, we are doing a Q&A with Jared. We were looking back on our channel and realized that we're so good about doing Q&As with the kids. We, I don't think we've ever I don't know if I've ever done one, just me. Just, yeah, just us. So, so anyway, so Jared is- I'm a little nervous. Yeah, are you really? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. Okay, well, you've got some really hard questions to answer. That's what I was afraid of, so, okay. Should we get started? Let's just Ready? jump right in. Okay, the first one, the hardest one. No, just kidding. How old are you? <laughs> that is a hard one. I'm 49. 49, so he's gonna be 40. 50. Yeah. Woohoo. And now next up. year I'm turning 50. Yeah, right. so his birthday is in February. No. no. <laughs> so sorry. Wow. <laughs> we need to start over. Wow. <laughs> That's her ex's birthday. Dude, dude, dude. Let's start again. Dude. I'm so sorry. No, no, we're not starting. We're gonna cheat that. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just had like wow. a brain fart or something. Okay. Jared's birthday is in June. <laughs> um, let's just move on. When do you when do you get a shopping spree? We have to start over. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. We're not. We're gonna go. I don't know. I'm we're gonna so just keep going for a million years and just forgot your birthday. Uh, that's okay. okay. Well, you're excused. Okay. Okay. Our anniversary is in that month. So. It's a February. She's not gonna know that either. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Okay, next the, question. I am the worst, okay. Can you continue? Oh Do you need a break? No, we're gonna start over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> stop now, I'm so sorry. Okay, really. I'm so okay. Sorry. So, okay. She hasn't made that mistake in a long time. It's really funny. <laughs> what's, what's our next question here? Uh, when do you get a shopping spree to spruce up your wardrobe? You don't need to ask your own question. Hold on. Okay. Okay, next question. When do you get a when do you, when do you get a shopping spree to spruce up your talk? <laughs> Are you a second? <laughs> Come on! Stop for a second. I'm so sorry. You're so mean. <laughs> Should I continue without you? No, just wait. Okay. I'm ready. Think of something serious. I am thinking of something serious. I'm not the one with the problem. No, me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to myself. Next question. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's just like right there. Next question, baby. Okay, Next question. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. I just can't get serious. <laughs> That's, what's the deal? I don't know. Uh, you know when you just get that and then you have a hard time? Come on. Okay, ready? Next question. I'm really trying. I'm really sorry. No, you're good. A shopping spree to spruce up your wardrobe. You have many polo. I have a lot of polo. I do wear a lot of polo shirts. I like collared shirts because I don't like things really around my neck. I do wear like t-shirts to the gym and things like that. 
But I, I like these. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes we laugh because um, Jared will have like a video from now and then we'll do a look back like on four years ago. and then That's just, happened recently. And then you just happen to be wearing the same, the same shirt, shirt in both videos. I do have some shirts I've had for like a decade. Forever? Forever? Yeah. But yeah, you just like pull the shirts and, and he kind of gets... Like the same kind of pattern, same kind of. I go theme. dark because it makes me thinner. You feel you know? thinner and dark, yeah. Yeah, but I am losing weight. Uh, I, I feel like when I go down another size, maybe two sizes. I don't. Know. My goal is to get to like two fifty. Okay. And I might go further than that. I don't know. You just have to see how you feel. But Wait. I don't want to buy anything now because what if yeah. I go down another size? Well, he did buy one new shirt recently and it was one. a smaller size and he was so excited. So yeah, I'm and it looked it. great. So I'm already down one size. Yeah, just keep going. So I'm going to wait. I don't want to do a shopping spree. I'll otherwise I'll end up. Not yet. Yeah, it's not ready. Not time. What, what did you do for a living before YouTube? Uh, love watching your family. Okay, so what did I do for a living? Uh, yeah, as a young man, I did construction work, things like that. Uh, while I was going to college, I worked at a call center for Citigroup uh, for that's almost when we 15 met. years. I was, yeah, that's where I was working when I met you. And then from there, I went to being a real estate agent and uh, joining Shelly. We did that together. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we've done YouTube yeah. ever since. Yeah. So. He was gonna, he wanted to be a school teacher. He, um, Actually got a position when, we moved, to St. when we moved to St. John's. Yeah, he got a position to be a school teacher there, and then we just kind of went back and forth on like, do we want to do this? Do we want to do, just do yeah. YouTube? And I was like, we're just going to do YouTube. Just so, do YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Are you the strict dad or the fun dad? Ooh. Yes. Yes. I am the strict dad and the fun dad. I think for the most part, you're the primary disciplinarian. Somewhat. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Like, I think we do a, an actual good job of like both of us being the disciplinary. But we kind of yeah. laugh because so if like Jared, if I come in and Jared's talking to a kid and I feel like maybe you're like a little too hard, then I'll come in and be the soft person. But if I'm not hard enough. If you're not hard enough, then I come in and then shake. I'm harder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends on the kid, depends on the circumstances, what it Situation. is, all that. It's very situational. But I mean, yeah. for the most part, I do try to be the fun dad. Yeah. Yeah, so. I would agree with that. Yeah, for sure. Why did you live in Italy? Oh, okay, so why did I live in Italy? So I actually served a mission for the LDS Church in Italy. Uh, I spent most of my time in like north, northeastern Italy. Um, my favorite places, I lived in right in Maestri next to Venice for like six months. Mm -hmm. Lived in Pisa for a while, right next to Florence and Siena. I lived in uh, Piombino was probably my favorite place, but okay. I, I, I lived there for a few months and the, this, everything about it, small town, everything was awesome. So, but I was there for just uh, being a missionary. So, yeah. yeah. So, and he learned to do a lot of cooking there, which we love. I did learn some cooking <laughs> there, Because we yes. love Italian food here. So, okay. How many siblings do you have and are you close with them? Okay, so your this is a weird question because this one actually, we went over this on like our first date. So I'm the youngest of nine, and this includes like step and stuff like that, step brothers and sisters. I'm the youngest of nine and I have six brothers and two sisters, okay? Shelly is the oldest of nine with six sisters and two brothers. So yes. it's like the exact opposite. And I know that sounds like a lot. My mom has got divorced since then. I yeah. don't know how that works with like, once they're because they were step sisters, sisters and stuff. And I don't know how all that works, but I feel but like at that divorced, point so, when we first yeah. met, that's what it was like. Yeah. So yeah. When, and yes, I'm close to oh, a lot of them. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm close, close to a lot. Of them, yeah. yeah. When you were younger, did you ever imagine you would have a, have a family so big? No, no. I always said, even when I was young, I remember even like probably before I even moved to Arizona. Um, I think I remember saying that I wanted two, four, or more. You got more. So I never pictured this many by any means, but I did want a few kids. Yeah. Is there ever one thing that made you flare up with the family at Lovia's crazy family? Flare up. I'm assuming like some kind of anger or yeah. something. Like one time. Okay. There was one time I still to this day feel like it was very justifiable. So I was home with Landon and three foster kids. 
that were all three and under. So this was a long, yeah, long are. time ago. And one of them was a baby and I was changing a diaper, okay? Changing this really gross green. We don't need the description. Really gross diaper. <laughs> and Shelly called me and I'm like, oh, give me one second. I, I finished the, the diaper really quick and I set it down and I, I walked into the other room to take the phone call. So I was on that phone call for maybe 20, 30 seconds. It was just a really quick thing. I walked back in and the three kids that were like one and a half, two and three had opened the diaper and they were playing in the poop. <laughs> so yes, I kind of lost it. <laughs> what did I you was do? Like, what the heck are you doing? And I put them all in timeout. Like I was yelling. I, I was like, everybody time out, out immediately. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I, and they went very willingly. I think I scared them all. Yeah, you bit. yelled. And I, I just put them all in timeout until I could get it fully cleaned up. And them cleaned up. But I, I lost it a little so bit. So gross. Like that was so beyond. I think you would have thrown up everything. Oh yeah, I couldn't have yeah, done that. So Okay. Yeah, that was I, I, I definitely feel like that's, lost it. that's justifiable. But that's I still fine. feel it was kind of justifiable. They needed to stay in timeout while I was cleaning. <laughs> so. Do you have any pet peeves? Yes, I definitely do. Yes. I'm sure you do too. But, yeah. uh, I don't like it when people touch my ears. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I just have a thing about that. But that's uh, I would say being late. I hate being late. At all. I'm like never. He doesn't late. like when people are late, or I don't like it when people late. make me be late either. Yeah. Like, I do not like being late to yeah. anything. Always early. Um, and probably one thing that really bothers me a ton is when people borrow my tools and then don't put them back. Check out. <laughs> <I do. laughs> so <laughs> she thinks it's me. I, so it, I feel like if something's missing, he's like, oh, the kids lost it. And I'm like, no, you probably yeah. just lost it. So I have like two, like two places I keep my tools, office or toolbox. I don't know of anywhere else I really keep Most them. of the time I would say your tools are at Aaron's house or that was a thing. That was, was a, thing a thing a while, a while back, ago. but no. Yeah. But now if I can't find it, I go straight to Jacob's room and it's usually it's there. It's usually there. So <laughs> just put it back. Just put it back. I don't care if you use it, just put it back. Do you, oh, oh, this one, are you ready? No. <laughs> Do you have a relationship with Shelly's ex-husband? Uh, no, I think that would be kind of weird. Um, I don't, I don't think remember. it would be weird at all. I feel like I feel like we would all be like good friends. That's probably true. I really do feel like that. He's a nice guy. There's he's a really nice no guy. No animosity yeah. or anything there. So. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, nothing there. Um, but um, Kylie feels like she wants it separate. That's true. She does. She wants it separate. She wants so it separate. So the only time that I ever see him is sometimes I'll call Kylie and he'll be there. Yeah. And he'll like jump on for a second and say hi or something like that. Yeah. But that's really it. So. Yeah. Yeah. But no, there's, but nothing, yeah, there's yeah. no, no. Yeah. Do you, uh, can you name all of your kids? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like. And their birthdays. And their birthdays. I can do it all. So. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Am I, I doing don't, this? You yeah. Want me to do it? Yeah. Go ahead and do it. I don't, I don't have any way to write it down to check it. So we'll okay, just Okay. So see kids in the house is, that's the easy one. Okay, so we go. have, uh, Jacob, Landon, Mason, Aubrey Addison, Brinley Braxton, Case and Annabea Trey. So that's the 10 in the house. Wow, that was really fast. Okay. Okay. Out of the house, I, I don't, I'm hoping I don't mess this up here. Okay. So we have Kylie, Destiny, Cody, Weston, Spencer, uh, Jonathan, Cynthia, Lacey, Lizzie, Nicole. There's at least one more. Did you say Harlan? No, I didn't say Harlan. So there's Harlan. I think that's 21. You got them all just so, like that? That was so fast. Yeah. Wow. And the easier way to me is just go through their birthday. So like January, we have Destiny and- Oh, you just go, oh wow, well, that's a whole like other Destiny thing. Destiny and, and, and Brinley are in January the 12th and the 29th. February, we have wow. Landon and then March and so forth. But, okay, yeah. that's good job. <laughs> um, what do you miss most about St. John's? Um, obviously my mom, she's there. Um, but I would have to say other than that, the weather. The, the weather, it's so cold right now and I'm so jealous. I know. I want it, I want it to be it's cold so, here. It I still feel like feels it, like summer here. It still feels it's like It's like summer. in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to just wear a little jacket the other day and I just was like, what am I, it's so hot. It's, yeah. it's hot outside. Yeah. And I, it's funny because I remember seeing a TikTok or something of somebody in England that was saying they're having a heat wave at like 78 degrees. I'm like, 
That's our winter. <laughs> it's winter here. Like literally, I'm still running the air conditioner in the house. Yeah. Yeah. So, cause it's hot. It's hot. What is your favorite memory of Shelly when you first started dating her? Okay, when we first started dating. I want to know the answer to this one. Okay, so I had to know if she was interested for one. Okay. So I came over for a game night. Okay. And wait, we Crystal and I used to do um, every Friday. Yeah, or it was Saturday like every night. Friday or something. Yeah. yeah. We would do a game night, and we would invite just like certain people every week, and it was yeah. just yeah, it was just a lot of fun. It was way fun. We used to do it all the time. Um, and it was like six to eight people, like almost every yeah. week. Yeah. So anyway, she, we were sitting on the corner of the table. You were sitting this way and I was sitting this way. And I just kind of scooted my chair forward just a little bit. So my knee touched yours. I remember this, yes. And I just wanted to see if you'd pull away or not. Or if I'd keep my knee on you. Yes. I kept my knee on She you. kept her knee on me and I was like, <laughs> okay, she's interested. Okay, she's in interested. Oh, that's so funny. She's digging this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was one of my favorite memories. So. I remember that, yeah. And it was like our second or third date. Yeah. It was really early on. Yeah. But it was that little test, you know? Like, are that's, you into me or not? I was into you. <laughs> Who had the biggest impact on your life and why? Um, a few people, I would have to say probably the most was my mom. My mom was really the example of a parent of the, 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 the type of parent that I wanted to be. So she, she gave me all the good examples. She was always a good listener and things like that. So she was, she probably had the most impact on me, uh, and how I am as a parent. Yeah. So, yeah. He has an awesome mom. Yeah. She's yeah. awesome. She's really, really good. So I would have to say her other than Shelly, because Shelly's obviously had a huge impact on me too. Just, yeah. Yeah. She's everything I ever wanted. So oh. yeah, perfect. How do you guys keep up with that many kids? Where did you learn how to cook and bake? Okay. So two questions. How do we, how do I keep up with this many kids? You just make it work any way you yeah, can. I feel like it wasn't like, um, like, Bam, you have 21 kids. Like, no. it was just no. like, you know, we were, and a couple more, and th you know what I mean? It just kind of added up like that. So it wasn't like this, like, how do we do this? You know? Right. We did have when we were fostering, um, where we had got, I think it was, we, ha we had Landon, and maybe it was those three kids that we had got. The first three? The first three, or there was a sibling group that we got right up front, and you and I weren't used to having that many kids. No. And I remember all weekend long, we were just like, and bottle, and this, and that, and- And diapers, you know, and this, and, this, and, oh, and that, and, and did this, yeah. you had to take a nap, and did this one eat, and, and we just had this, we didn't even eat all weekend. Like, yeah. we were just like going, 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 and I was like, wow, like, I don't know how people do it that have like, four kids or so <laughs> that kind of a thing but then as time went by like it just got you get used easy. to it it gets easier yeah so yeah what's the most interesting thing interesting thing to me is that like we had like not too long ago we had like 14 kids in the home mm -hmm. and all of a sudden like three or four of them move out and it's like we felt so tiny i was wow. like we have a tiny we feel family. so tiny and it feels so easy yeah it did like so yeah, beyond tiny, easy yeah. like <laughs> I remember that being, or like even having a family meeting. I'm like, where is everything? Where is this everybody? is it. This, this is, is it. it? Yeah. So, yeah. So I imagine it's, it's going to be thing. kind of a shock as even more move out and we're even smaller. It's going to be like, yeah, kind of crazy. So, yeah. So what's the second part of the question? Um, uh, where did you learn to cook and bake? Oh, that's my mom. So my mom grew up Mennonite, which they're known for their cooking and baking and whatnot. And she taught me very early on, if you know how to read a recipe, you can cook anything, like anything. So she taught me how to read a recipe probably before I was a teenager. Oh, wow. Um, and from there you just practice. So yeah, good cook. Yeah. I always thought it was, it was strange for me because when we got married in my last marriage, I was the one who did like all the cooking. Yeah. Um, he was really good at grilling, things like that, but I did a lot of the cooking. And then, so I just thought that that's how it was going to go this one. And then as I would do things, he'd be like, Oh, you could do it like this or you could do it like that. I'm like, you know how to cook? What? <laughs> yes, I know how to cook. And he's such a and my job, my job at the time was an efficiency expert too. So like, I was trying to find efficiencies in every process, yeah. so I was a little well, critical of her cooking at times. So, 
to a point where I was like, okay, I'm done. You, you, you take this. over the you're cooking. You're going to be the cook for it. So, yeah. Just, and like, I did actually. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, but no, it worked I, out. I enjoyed it. So yeah, one time the I, the very first time that I realized he could cook um, is we were sitting watching a movie in our living room, and oh. he uh, well I know exactly what story this is. Oh well, okay. The day before we were in the same, we were watching a movie in the living room, and I was making eggs, and the uh, I was just boiling eggs, boiling hard boiled eggs. Well, oh, I no no forgot, no, this is big. I forgot, uh, I forgot about them. And we were watching a movie. Boiled totally forgot. all the water out of them. I did not know that when you boil water out of all, your eggs like that, the eggs explode. Literally sounded like, like we had vaulted ceilings, and they hit the ceiling. Seriously, like, it sounded like there were firearms going off in the other room. We were so scared. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> and we go in there and it's like, literally the water's gone. There's pieces of egg. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> All, I mean, we're talking like 15 feet on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. It was like everywhere. it was really okay, crazy. So then the next day we're watching a movie again and I was like, oh, I wish we had some cookies. And he was like, okay. And I and he got up and I was like, we don't have any cookies. I don't know what he's in there doing. And then a few, like, I just felt like it was like a few minutes later, he walked in with like, Cookies. Fresh made oatmeal Fresh made cookies. cookies. And I'm like, we didn't even, how did you, what? I just made some cookies from scratch. I didn't know he could cook. Anyway, that, and they were the most amazing cookies <laughs> ever. Yeah, I was so impressed with them. I was like, wow. That's so I do cool. remember that. And I, I remember even, this is terrible. I shouldn't even say this out loud. But I remember thinking like, but you didn't have like a log of cookies. Like, how did you make them? <laughs> <laughs> like the pre-made cookie dough? Because, because no. they were sugar cookies and I feel like I that's just like you get your log. <laughs> no, no. I went, saw what ingredients we had and then found a recipe that worked with those ingredients yeah. and made the cookies. Sounds like they're fresh. Yeah, fresh cookies. Like how did Ooh, you know to do that? Anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite music? Oh, music. Um, I listen to just about everything. So... Probably the stations I listen to the most in the car are like anything, whatever's coming out that's new. Yeah. Just, I don't know if I'm, I'm not really trying to stay up to date. I just want to know what's out. And I like new things and I like old things. I don't really have a single thing. I listen to everything from country to rap, like a little bit of everything. Everything, he really does. Everything. Like whatever we're in the car, it doesn't even matter what song, what, I mean, Brindley's K-pop, he'll put that on. I mean, the kids will put that For on. Bit, and yeah. he just, he doesn't say anything. And I'm like, okay, you just love it all. So yeah, yeah and we have Jacob that loves country. Like we have kids yep, that listen to different yep. music, all, you know. And so on a car ride, we try to all take turns and stuff. And yeah. you know, when it gets to him, he's like, I don't care, whatever. Yeah. So. I feel like my brain works a little different than the kids though, because when I listen to music, I really listen to the instrumental and I, okay. I don't really hear the words that much. Yeah. Where all the kids, they can listen to like a song and know the words after listening to it one time. They do. I'm not like that either. Like, how do you do that? Yeah. Oh, we do have some songs. So I have my shower songs that I like in the morning. Some of those songs. That she plays on the will, giant speaker. He will come in because I listen to rap. And so he will come in and be like, uh, really? <laughs> really, Shelly? So, yeah. Yeah. Maybe not those, but okay. <laughs> um, living in St. John's, did you and Shelly go to the same schools? I didn't grow up in St. John's, so that would be a no. That Should would be my ex husband. Yeah. We went to school together. So I think True. sometimes that's confusing. No, I grew up in Southern California for the first 10 years of my life, then moved to Tempe, Arizona, here in the Valley, and went to ASU here. So love ASU. It's yeah. my, my university. So yeah. we didn't meet until he was like 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not until I was 30. So yeah. Um, you said a few years back that Connor would join your family once he's out. Is that still happening? Yes, it is. Yes, he it is, is getting out next month. And we have a date. Is, is he going to be? Yeah, we, we, we do have a date. Yeah, it's actually, the end so. of January. So. End of January. Um, Which under, we thought understand was Understand something. I know we get a lot of criticism for this too and whatnot, but you have to understand something. Connor spent nearly every day with me for over a year. You know, he is like my son. I love him. He, And it's not that we're going to bring him into our home and like just you know, welcome, everything's good, you know? We know it's a I process. Just, it's a process, it's a lengthy process. I just wanna see him successful and happy. I want to help him get back on his feet. 
So that's really all it is. Mm -hmm. I just want to see him successful. And I think with a little bit of backup, which he doesn't have anywhere else. Yeah, we're it. I think that we can help him get back on his feet and live a normal life. Yeah, I think so too. So, so. that's our hope. So we don't know what it's going to look like when he gets no. out. We don't no. know. I mean, right now he's just, you know, he... He's nervous about getting out. He's very, he's very, very nervous. nervous. He calls us really upset sometimes, or he's really excited. Some days he's like, okay, I can't wait, I can't wait. Yep. And then, you know, and he's like, I'm getting a Wallace tattoo and <laughs> I'm going to get adopted. And he's just, you know, he's so in it. And so we hope that as he comes out that that's, you know, how, you know, yeah. he feels and where he is and, you know, we're going to find out. So yeah, because ultimately it's just about making the right choices in life to get where you want to be. Yeah. What's the most important lesson you've learned from adopting and being a bonus dad? Oh, uh, most important lesson from being uh, an adoptive dad. I would have to say that for me personally, the most important thing I've learned is that they, that children don't have to be your biological children for you to love them just like your biological yeah. children. Yeah, we worried about that at first, so, actually. That we did, actually. a conversation we had because we had Landon and Kylie, and um, we were like, as you know, we were taking in kids, I was like, sometimes it felt like, to me, like I was just babysitting. It felt yes. weird having that connection, and I worried about that. I was like, am I going to be able to feel like they're, you know. Like they're mine, eventually. Yeah, they're and as, yeah. as a foster parent, you do kind of have to do that a little bit to protect your heart. Cause you don't know they're going to stay. Yeah. But once they stay and you, you relax know. that and it's like, okay, this is cool. Like literally it never crosses my mind unless it's brought up in conversation. These are my kids, mm -hmm. period. I don't think of them as adopted. We I don't celebrate gotcha days. I never really do. They, I just think of them as my kids. Yeah. So yeah, it, I know their gotcha days are important to them cause they do, um, like yeah. get tattoos like and different things have, yeah. and we love that that's so amazing yeah, totally that's fun. so awesome yeah so but we don't celebrate it or anything like that yeah, we just celebrate their normal it birthday. feels weird for us to be like once a year be like oh you're adopted like yeah. that <laughs> I don't know and I know because I feel like they're mine once we got two years, if you love them and you celebrate that that you know your kids yeah that's totally you're, fine you have adopted kids that's great it's just not for us so. yeah anyway yeah but yeah I just feel like that's the number one lesson for me was just you can it doesn't you matter do. Um, you make your family, you decide who's in your family, yeah. period. What is the best part of being a dad? This is the last question. This is the last yeah. one. The best part of being a dad, I, I gotta say, is the exchange of love. Um, there's so many rewards you get as a father or as a parent in general, I would say. Um, and the love that you give, it's reciprocated, you know? Um, I, I don't know if there's really a better way to describe it. Yeah. So it's just a feeling you get. And I think that most young people don't understand it until they have kids of their own. I know Lacey was like that. And now she gets it. She's like, okay. She has Bexley and she's like, totally get it. Yeah. So, and once you have a child, you understand so much more because there's some switches that go off in your brain that just change a lot of your mentality um, from, you know, being a single person to being a caregiver and whatnot. So, yeah. um, but the love that you exchange and the rewards you get from seeing your kids do successful things and just gaining things that you never had or things that you, I don't know, any, any of those things, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's the best. It's the best feeling you can possibly get. Mm, I love that. So, okay, well that's the last question. That's it. That's <sighs> it. You made it through it. We made it. <laughs> okay, as we always say, if there's more, you have more questions, put them down below. Jared will jump on there and and I answer them. Answer as many this as I video can. that we're recording actually uh, is going out today. Today, yeah. <laughs> so when you're watching today. this, just know that it was recorded this morning. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get on sometime tonight and answer as many questions yeah, as I can. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and here's today's crazy memory. Why? You're gonna put that in your mouth. Don't. Wait, that can I do it? No. So can sour. we do it? Can we do it? What do you call that? This is hammer. I, you're crazy. Ooh, are those all the clean ones? Yeah. <laughs> you almost done? You can't put this on. What? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I drink it so much that I have zero reaction. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. What? Can okay, she so had a little bit of a reaction, her eyes closed. kind of twitched. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah. I'm not even gonna do that because I already know my face would just be like that. Oh, it makes you burp though. Like a lot. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna do this whole thing. Ready? Three, that is straight two, lemon. look at lemon and lime. Oh, Meat oh, 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 lemon and lime. She's probably crying inside right now. No, I actually am. Wait, not. I want to try. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I can't. I can't. It's so good. I think I have more than you did. Hey, come on. Keep it in your mouth and swish it around. Go. Down it. Go. 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 Yeah, I'm telling you, it makes you bark. That's a little. Oh, you're crazy. Where are you going? 